the name of God, the Lord of mercy, the giver of mercy. Exalted is he who holds all control in his hands, who has power over all things, who created death and life to test you people and reveal which of you does best. He is the mighty, the forgiving, who created the seven heavens, one above the other. You will not see any flaw in what the Lord of mercy creates. Look again, can you see any flaw? Look again and again, your sight will turn back to you weak and defeated. We have adorned the lowest heaven with lamps and made them missiles for stoning devils for whom we have also prepared the torment of a blazing fire. For those who defy their Lord, we have prepared the torment of hell, an evil destination. They will hear it drawing in its breath when they are thrown in. It blazes forth almost bursting with rage. Its keepers will ask every group that is thrown in, Did no one come to warn you? They will reply, Yes, a warner did come to us, but we did not believe him. We said, God has revealed nothing. You are greatly misguided. They will say, If only we had listened or reasoned, we would not be with the inhabitants of the blazing fire, and they will confess their sins. Away with the inhabitants of the blazing fire, but there is forgiveness and a great reward for those who fear their Lord, though they cannot see him. Whether you keep your words secret or state them openly, he knows the contents of every heart. How could he who created not know his own creation when he is the most subtle, the all aware? It is he who has made the earth manageable for you, travel its regions, eat his provision, and to him you will be resurrected. Are you sure that he who is in the heaven will not make the earth swallow you up with a violent shudder? Are you sure that he who is in the heaven will not send a whirlwind to pelt you with stones? You will come to know what my warning means. Those who went before them also disbelieved. How terrible was my condemnation. Do they not see the birds above them spreading and closing their wings? It is only the Lord of mercy who holds them up. He watches over everything. What force can help you if the Lord of mercy does not? The disbelievers are truly deluded. Who can provide for you if he withholds his provision? Yet they persist in their insolence and their avoidance of the truth. Who is better guided? Someone who falls on his face or someone who walks steadily on a straight path? Say, O prophet, it is he who brought you into being, he who endowed you with hearing, sight, and understanding. What small thanks you give. Say, it is he who scattered you throughout the earth, he to whom you will be gathered. They say, if what you say is true, when will this promise be fulfilled? Say, God alone has knowledge of this. My only duty is to give clear warning. When they see it close at hand, the disbelievers' faces will be gloomy, and it will be said, this is what you were calling for. Say, just think regardless of whether God destroys me and my followers or has mercy on us. Who will protect the disbelievers from an agonizing torment? Say, he is the Lord of mercy. We believe in him. We put our trust in him. You will come to know in time who is in obvious error. Say, just think, if all your water were to sink deep into the earth, who could give you flowing water in its place? Mm -hmm.